Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Manish from Domski. In our last video, we created a connection using SQL Server on Power BI and connected Dynamic 365 series online. So, in this video, we would be adding this particular table onto Dynamic 365. So, let us just publish this particular table, save the changes, and we would be storing it to, on our desktop saying that SQL test account and save uh, uh, it will ask me for the workspace uh, I will select my default my work workspace so now it has been published to power bi let us go to our workspace in powerbi.com so opening my workspace going to report so this is the report that has been published from Power BI desktop client. If you open it, you will find it says the data source jumps zero is missing credential and cannot be accessed. So what we will do, we will go back and click on data set, going to settings, and uh, under the data source credential, we will click on edit credential, and here we will enter our username, password, or and the privacy level. So remember to check this box. So the security role can be embedded as per the user who is accessing that report and you can see it gave me an error because i have selected the authentication method as basic i would be selecting as it should be 002 and signing in and we have successfully given the credential to it and if we go back and you can see we are able to access the data here so now we can embed this particular report onto onto Dynamics 365 dashboard. So we'll go on to our environment, clicking on dashboard. There would be two options: either to directly embed that report as Power BI dashboard, or we can have it as Dynamics 365 dashboard. I uh, would be selecting as three column create, and once it loads, you select that section, and you will find uh, option here. Power BI tile selecting that and you will see an error saying that you don't have any tile or dashboard uh, and please create it and it wouldn't be available here too so what we are missing is uh, let us cancel and go back to our power uh, power bi admin panel and here you will see an option pin a live page and if we click on it now it will ask us to name it as a dashboard we will make is that we will name it as all account as we haven't put up any filtering there and pin live we'll go back to our dynamic 365 environment clicking on dashboard create new selecting our section and going to the option that is power bi tile and you can see here it gives us the dashboard which we pinned and it gives a preview clicking on OK and save the OK let me give the name that is testing and save the record, uh, save the dashboard so our dashboard from the Power BI has been upgraded on to Dynamic 365 successfully we can then have the formatting of this particular report uh, as you can see it looks quite weird here uh, we can have chart bar or whatever formatting we want to do we can do, do over there so that's all for this video. Thank you.